a young bucks match. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, I don't want his autograph picture. He's stupid. Takes a guitar and shove it. No, no. Oh, not six more hours of Russell Kingdom. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I just got done watching Wrestle Kingdom 12. All six hours of the show, or whatever the heck it was. So you have to forgive me if I'm just a little tired. I sound like I'm a little beat down, because the truth of the matter is, I am. And it brings up a very important point that I want to touch on. Hey, pro wrestling. Your big shows are way too long. I mean, seriously. Way too long. Now, maybe there's a thought of saying, hey, it's your big show. You want to do the biggest, the baddest, the best. You want to make sure you get as many people involved as possible to give as many of them as payout as possible. You want to make sure that you charge the most for tickets to the event and so forth that you give the most bang for your buck and all of this other jazz but at some point in time there is such a thing as too much of a good thing and I will use the term good thing kind of loosely here more importantly too much wrestling is a bad Thing. Now, fundamentally, when we're talking about professional wrestling, I realize that when you say too much wrestling, it, it seems like it's kind of ridiculous. But if you think about it, it's really not. Just because your show can go longer, just because you are able to go longer, just because you are willing to go longer, doesn't necessarily mean that you should flat out and I don't do this just to pick on New Japan even though the length of Wrestle Kingdom 12 was absolutely uncalled for that was completely and totally ridiculous that show should be at the very very most four hours because it then crosses over to a point in time where to me as a wrestling fan it becomes somewhat disrespectful to me in saying that I have absolutely nothing better to do with my time than to watch this crap so I will watch however much you put out there in front of me to consume and contrary to popular belief I do have a life a somewhat decent life and I have other things I would like to be doing on a Saturday afternoon other than watching six hours of a show that I'm only watching six hours of it because I committed to watching it from beginning to end and ultimately reviewing it for you for this Oterra Central channel. And the thing is, is it's just not called for. These shows aren't good enough. And again, not to just pick on New Japan because other companies do this crap too. I remember ROH's pay-per-views when I used to actually watch them for a period of time. A lot of them would be four plus hours. And it's one of those things where it's one thing if it's four plus hours and you have all types of different things that kind of break up the monotony, but it's largely not. It's match, 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 and that is it. At least when the WWE does a big show, typically they will do other things to kind of break up the monotony and set up things. They have long entrances, they do segments, they do different things and so forth. But it absolutely drives me crazy that the WWE now, because Raw is three hours, they associate that one of the ways you have to make a big show feel like a big show is that it automatically needs to be longer 
that if Raw is three hours, it stands to reason that the other big four pay-per-views should be four hours, and for God's sakes, WrestleMania should be five hours, and no, I'm not even counting the two-hour freaking pre-shows. Knowing that in most, if not all of these cases, that a large number of these matches have very little to absolutely no build-up to them beforehand, have very little to no interest in them beforehand, knowing that when you have shows that go this long, it means you tend to drag out matches way longer than they need to. Just because a match can go 20 minutes doesn't mean it should go any longer than 8 or 10. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. And looking at Wrestle Kingdom 12 specifically, so many of these matches are so damn long, they all kind of blend in together, they're all kind of the same, and they're all kind of a schmaz. And it gets to a point in time where you start to get a diminishing return, and you're no longer enjoying what you're watching. And there is just no excuse for this. It is poor time management, it is laziness, it is a variety of things. And to me, like I said, a little bit disrespectful to us at wrestling fans to sit there and say, hey, this is a big show, you're losers, you don't have anything else to do with your lives. Here's even more. No, you make a show feel bigger and more important by making the show itself be bigger, better, and more important. And having to go an extra hour, two, three damn hours than you typically would in order to achieve that result is just lunacy. Just flat out lunacy. And this crap has to stop. There is such a thing as too much, again, of a good thing. There is such a thing as too much wrestling. There is no reason that a pay-per-view for a wrestling show should ever go longer than four hours. And the vast majority of them should only go three, and in some cases go two. And I think about it specifically when you look at the NXT TakeOver shows, sure, with all the bumps and spots and crap that they do. People like those shows, but part of the reason they like those shows is they tend to only be about two and a half hours to two hours and 45 minutes long, more of a traditional pay-per-view length. They're a big show, but they're not a big freaking haul. It becomes an exhausting exercise to watch these big wrestling shows, and it shouldn't be. It should be pure joy and pleasure. The time should fly by. It should feel like a breeze, and you feel like, man, where did all that time go? This just flew by. But instead, it becomes a chore to watch. And you're watching the clock, and you start to realize about halfway through, like, oh my god, we've still got this, that, and the other third match. Holy crap, we've still got two and a half hours of this cock garbage left to go. Pro wrestling. Hey, cut it out. We don't need these ridiculously long shows. Because you're not helping the quality of your product, you're not helping the entertainment value of your show, you're giving us too much, you are diluting your own product and ultimately making it worse and less pleasurable and less enjoyable. And when I think ahead to like WWE with the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and SummerSlam and Survivor Series, and I think about other New Japan shows and other companies that I might watch their pay-per-views this year and they could potentially be four plus damn hours. That might be a reason for me not to look forward to the show. That may be a reason for me to decide not to watch the show, is knowing that it is going to take up so much of my time, and specifically, if I have any concern at all about that show not being absolutely pinpoint and absolutely delivering 100% of the way, which again, believe me, Wrestle Kingdom 12 did not, like so many other WWE shows do not, so many other ROA shows do not, it's just madness and this madness needs to stop it's kind of like here on YouTube when they change the algorithms and everything so it no longer was just about view counts and stuff as to how you got more views now it became about average view time and watch time so the people that started doing two and three hour boo-boo ass videos that people would sit through and watch 20 minutes of would get more push by YouTube than people that would maybe do 25, 30 minute quality good videos that people on average watch 15 to 18 minutes of. Because ultimately, while this channel that did the shorter videos held their audience for a larger average period of time per video, 
ultimately they didn't hold them as long in terms of gross time. So what happens is certain people get over massively because the system pushes them and forces them down people's throats because they're cranking out three hour videos and people are watching 20 minutes of them and then turning them off and YouTube doesn't freaking care. They're watching less than 15% of the damn video. And it feels like wrestling is kind of matching that, that automatically the longer means the better. And no, it doesn't. Damn it, I shouldn't have to spend six hours on a Saturday watching a stupid wrestling show. Three hours is more than sufficient. When the hell did we get away from that? And when the hell did it become okay? And when did we become such a nerdgasm for freaking in-ring action exclusively, specifically, and only that we no longer care that these shows are ridiculously too damn long. If you have one show once a year because it is your biggest show, your Super Bowl, your WrestleMania, your Daytona 500, whatever the hell you want to call it, and you make that four hours because it is going to be your biggest, your brightest, your best in front of the most people, it's going to have the biggest stars, I get it. I could deal with that one time a year. But it feels like this is going to continue to creep into professional wrestling more and more, where it is not just going to be the big shows, it's going to be every pay-per-view, every special event, and damn near every show. And at some point in time, we have to say, enough is enough. Pro wrestling, your shows are too long. Stop it. Stop it now. Because what's going to happen is if I don't have the pan with me, which I don't right now, the New Japan wake-up device to hit myself in the head repeatedly in order to keep myself awake, the only other thing that I'm going to need to bring other than snacks and stuff when I'm watching a show at home is I'm going to make sure I have my pillow ready. Because I know at some point in time that I'm going to have to tap out. Because I'm just getting too old for this shit. These shows are too damn long. Hey, pro wrestling, your shows are too long. Let's make them shorter, please. Nighty night.